Scott Holbrook, president of Secure Tool. Secure Tool is a next generation tool company. We curate, integrate, and invent tools that solve the world's biggest challenges. One of those tools we use is the play to earn blockchain game Star Atlas. And we use Star Atlas as a tool to help create income opportunities in overlooked and underserved markets. And the way we do that is by maintaining and operating a fleet of ships. And these ships are NFTs within the Star Atlas game. And those NFTs allow us to, you know, one, rent out to other players in the communities that we serve so that they can play the game and earn Atlas. And then secondly, they allow us to stake inside of the score staking system that way we can generate returns which are then reinvested in order to help more people and communities create income for themselves and so in this video what I want to do is show you the process that we go through in order to find the best deals on ships and maximize our returns and there are a couple aspects to that the first one is defining what exactly constitutes a deal like how do you know if a thing is a deal the second one is where can you find these deals in a very quick and easy way and then the third aspect is actually managing the fleet once you purchase all the ships at a deal and projecting what your returns will be based upon your purchase price and so to begin with let's go ahead and go to the marketplace and go to the ships and what you're gonna see let's just pick the fin bull here is that there are two things for every ship on the info page first is the available supply in this case 375,000 now remember these are NFTs and there are a limited number of each of them and so that's actually part of the value as well is how rare is the ship uh, especially when compared to how many players there are and so the Fimble ship there are quite a few of them uh, more ships than wallets at this point in time but there are ships for example the tree arrow that have a very very small minimum supply um, in this case 110 versus 100,000 registered wallets the uh, second thing that you'll see is what's an origination price and that origination price uh, we're gonna call a VWAP for the rest of this video uh, but that that VWAP is the price that the game developers put on the ship on the NFT when they first released it to the marketplace so in this case when the developers put the tree arrow onto the marketplace you had to pay 99,500 USDC for it uh, if you go back to the Fimbule you'll see that that origination price is much cheaper at 15 USDC and so that's the price that the ship was first available to be purchased at that's the price that's the value that the developers place on the ship and so what we are going to do in order to find valuable ships or what defines a valuable ship is basically anything that's lower than the VWAP anything that's lower than this origination price right here is going to count as a value and so if you go to the trade window uh, move it over to USDC just to make it easier you see that you can pick up an air bike for two dollars and thirty cents which is an incredible deal based upon the fifteen dollar price tag that the developers put on it and so if you were to buy this ship right now you would be getting an amazing deal and as we'll soon see your returns would be drastically increased because of it and then you can just simply go through the marketplace for for all of these ships let's go ahead to the tree arrow go to the trade and wow you, you can't even buy it there you go so you can now buy this ship one of these ships uh, in USDC for seventy nine thousand nine hundred dollars which while a lot of money is still at quite a hefty discount from the original VWAP of ninety nine thousand five hundred dollars uh, and so every ship is gonna have both of those numbers origination price of twelve seven oh five you can now purchase it in USDC for forty two hundred uh, so once again an amazing deal and so there is a quicker way to do this rather than going through every ship and that is simply going to this website here uh, afi.com uh, they are a star atlas guild and they have done the work of putting together the values basically to be found on the marketplace and so if you look at the grid right here we want to do is want to organize it according to the best ask price we'll stick with USDC and what you have over here 
is they give you the discount that that ship is at. And as you scroll down, you see that each of these ships are at different discounts. And so what you want to do is just simply find the best discount. And then by finding the best discount, you will be able to ensure that you're getting the best rewards. Uh, and so you can simply go here, see how much it is, get your discount, head back to the marketplace, and make the purchase that you need. So once you make the purchases, now you have got to manage them. And to do that, we're going to use this spreadsheet right here. Uh, once again, we will leave a link in the description below. And what this spreadsheet does is it gives you, one, the name of the ship. Two, it gives you the VWAP of the ship. That is the price that the developers put it out at. And then it gives you how many Atlas rewards per day you get. Now, the rewards that you get per day, you don't get to keep them all. There is a cost to maintaining the ship. Uh, in fact, there are four costs to maintaining the ship. There are resources, food, fuel, ammo, and tools. And these resources have to be purchased from the marketplace. And you do that in the same way that you would buy a ship. And then you would click buy. And so you've act and every ship has its own required burn rate. Uh, the burn rate is basically how much food or fuel or ammo or tools it requires per day. If you hit zero on any of these, your ship will stop producing Atlas. And so you have to maintain that in order to maintain your rewards. And it makes sense from a game perspective because what the stake is, is uh, as far as the game story goes, you're enlisting your ship into the army. And then the army uses that ship to protect and fight and defend and you know, do all the things that the armies and militaries do. And you're responsible, of course, for maintaining that ship. And your reward for that, your payment, is going to be the atlas that you get from that ship. And so these next four columns give you the burn rate of that particular ship. Uh, this column here gives you the total cost in atlas of all the resources. And then on J right here, you get basically your, your profit each day. Um, and so that profit is simply going to be the, the daily reward minus the, the daily maintenance cost, and then gives you your net reward. So that's how many Atlas you're getting. How does that relate to return percentages? Um, if you look over here, these next columns, uh, L and M, you'll actually see your percentage. Now notice it's based on the VWAP, right? So this price right here is what your return is based on. And so you're making 0.02% per day, basically down the board, off of each of these ships as per the VWAP, uh, which gives you a monthly yield of 0.64%. Um, now, I said that if you get it at a discount, that you will be getting a greater return. And I'd like to show you that now. Uh, first, let's make a copy so that we can change the numbers. Uh, you simply make a copy, you wait for it to load, and it looks like this. And so, uh, let's go ahead and change the VWAP. Oh, it's already changed on this one. So it was 1650, and then you see here the 0.65% per month, 0.02% per day. But we're going to pick it up right now for 230, as we saw in the marketplace. And if you get it for 230, you're now making 0.15%. Per day or 4.64 percent per month notice that's a huge huge increase over the original VWAP which was giving you 0.64 percent um, and then you can also adjust the coin price so if the coin goes back to a penny let's say you're now making a monster 7.17 percent per month um, which is an incredible return uh, and so this this sheet right here will actually let you give projections on how much you can expect to earn based on coin price uh, and the price that you actually paid for your ship. Uh, so once you buy your ships, what you want to do is just put how many you have right here. And we'll just put in some random numbers. And then once you fill this out, uh, well, how many ships you actually have in your fleet, you can come down here and all the calculations are done for you for your fleet now. And so here is the total VWAP value of your fleet. Um, if you change the number here to represent what you actually purchased it for in column B, then this will represent the value of your fleet. And then you come down to your net rewards, and everything's already calculated, and it will tell you how much Atlas you will earn daily, weekly, 
and monthly, and then based on the coin price, it'll also give you how much USDC uh, you will be earning daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. Um, and so, uh, by changing this into the the actual price, you can start projecting, you know, what you can expect. Uh, and then by changing the coin price, you can start building, you know, a model for yourself so that you know, you know, when to buy, when to exit, or whatever your investment strategy is. Uh, and so that's that's the tool. That's how we manage our fleet. You simply add it all in right here. All the numbers are done. They're calculated for you. It's very simple if you want to do it yourself. All this information is actually given on the fleet page. Uh, our wallet's not connected, so we can't can't show you that there. But you know, on the fleet page, you would be able to to look at the uh, the actual burn rate, you know, of each of these ships as well, and make your own spreadsheet if you so desired. Uh, that's that's all I got for you today. Uh, that's how we at Secure Tool add ships to our fleet. We go and we look for the best valued freighters that we can find because we focus on freighters and transport ship. Um, that's just us and what we do. You can do whatever type of ship you want, but you want to find the best value from this uh, this page right here. Next, you want to go ahead and make your purchases, whether that be in Atlas or that be in USDC. You make that decision. Uh, based on whatever the better value is and then once you make that purchase go ahead and enter it into your fleet management spreadsheet right here however many you bought and then that's going to give you all the information you need about your returns and percentages uh, as always leave comments down below let us know if you have any questions if there's some content that you would like to see covered leave that as well we want to make sure we get to all the community's questions uh, so they can enter into the game as easily as possible and we will we will see you next time on our on our next video. Thank you.